from the Legends Club inside the Lambeau Field Atrium, it's Packers Live with Larry McCarran! This week's Packers special guest, quarterback Tremont Williams! Ladies and gentlemen, the Rock himself, Larry McCarran! Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Packers Live, where we are feeling pretty special about ourselves. It's not just the fact that the Packers beat the Vikings. It's the way they beat them. They punched them right in the mouth. Special group with us tonight. Please say hello to the Altona Supper Club. Welcome, folks. Welcome. And now, please say hello to our band, Third and Short. Frankie, I understand there was a blessed event in the neighborhood recently. Yes, my defensive back was born this morning. My son, Jack. Eight pounds, one ounce. I got... I guess I won't ask you if you're going to name him Larry as we rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Let's move on. At any rate, may I request a drum roll, please? Tonight's guest was part of a secondary that held Greg Jennings, you remember him, to one catch for nine yards, need I say more, Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Packers Live welcome to Tremont Williams. All right, now. Uh, there you go. Come on, welcome. How you doing? Oh, welcome no. across here, buddy. You How you doing? Everybody. <laughs> Tremont, I, I, I think you're a hit already. I guess so, huh? Hey, Tremont, let's talk about the ball game a little bit. Mm -hmm. Job one for you guys on the defensive side of the ball, containing Adrian Peterson. Mm -hmm. 60 yards, 13 carries, I think it was. You got that done. Got, got it done. Uh, anytime. <laughs> Any, anytime you can come in and, and hold AP to 60 yards and um, on their side only giving them the ball 13 times, I mean, we can live with that any day. Tremont, I wanted to ask you about a particular play because <laughs> you are, you no, know, okay. Something I would not relish, you're in the open field yeah. and so is Adrian Peterson and it's like you and him and a lot of green grass behind you and you're giving away, like, at least 20 pounds, at least a couple inches, and you, you got them down. I mean, uh, what's it like <laughs> when you're out there doing that? Oh, man. It's tough duty. <laughs> but um, it's just one of those things that um, is a drill that we do every day at practice. Um, we have to tackle someone uh, from the side on the sideline. And in this case, it was, but it was against the best back in the NFL, so um, I just stuck to my fundamentals and did what I had to do to get him down. Sure did. Let's get back to that Jennings fellow we mentioned during the <laughs> intro. One catch, nine yards, and you saw your share of them yesterday. Mm -hmm. Was there any talking going on? No talking at all. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't any talking at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't any talking at all. Um, obviously, I play, played with Greg for a while now, and um, he's never been the type of guy to talk. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you may think differently, but he, he, he's really never been that type of guy. Tremont, one time you were covering him, I think it was late in the first half, and seemed to be covering him pretty well, and they threw the flag. It was probably the most ticky-tacky call, one of the most ticky-tacky calls I've ever seen. Uh, you weren't pleased with that, were you? No. And what did you think after you saw it on film? <sighs> <laughs> uh, 
I mean, I, I, I thought the same thing that everybody else thought that um, that definitely shouldn't have been called. I don't know where the contact was. Um, you know, the referees were emphasizing that though. So uh, I, I do have to say that before the game, they found me personally and told me anything I do, I need to do in the first five yards. And um, after that, if, if the receiver do anything, then they will catch them and they'll throw the flag. But they were definitely emphasizing upfield penalties. Incidental contact, if at all. I mean, yeah. I really, okay. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. A uh, happier topic. What's it like playing defense when your offense can't be stopped all night and they go on long drives? Was that an enjoyable experience? It was like vacation. <laughs> it was like vacation. I mean, and, and, and that's what you, uh, the coaches coach. That's a typical football game. You want the offense to go out there, move the ball with a balanced attack, um, run down the clock, defense come out, go three and out. And it just keeps going. And that's typically what you want out of a football game, and that seems the way it went yesterday. Tremont, when somebody's a guest on my show, I kind of go through the game tape, very much play-by-play. -play. Did you give up any completions yesterday? No. <laughs> Matter, of <laughs> Matter of fact, I didn't give up any of the last three games. <laughs> All right. Did you hear that? It hasn't given up any completions the last three games. Well, Tremont, hang on to your helmet, buddy, because it's time to go in the huddle. In the huddle. Woo! In the huddle, the exciting segment where we dissect a play with the player who made it. Tremont, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Now, you're this guy up here, okay? And I think you're going to end up looking at Jerome Simpson mm -hmm. right here, but okay, prior to the snap, what's going on with Tremont? Wait, are you looking at the formation? Are you anticipating things? What's going on? Basic. Looking at the formation, first of all. Um, one of the formations I was looking forward to in is down the distance. So um, they have two guys in the backfield, one on this side and two on the other side. Um, two games ago when we played them, they actually completed this ball on me. I was in press coverage, though. And when, when I got to the top, to the first down, the guy pushed me off, and he got separation. So I said, okay, I'm gonna play, this time I'm going to play it off. And I knew exactly what he was going to do. So I'm breaking out exactly when he's breaking. I mean, I guess that, that explains it all. We don't even have to go back now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, and good job behind the curtain, Claire, because she stayed with him the whole way. Now, at this point... It's clear the ball's coming that way, mm -hmm. okay? What kind of mode do you go in when the ball's coming to your guy and your area? You just lock in. You lock in on the ball. Once you see the ball, you lock in on the ball, and that's what I did at that point. But this guy actually got his hand in and swatted the ball, so. That's what I wanted to ask you. So you look at this like it's hard to see in the mumble jumble of arms and legs and all that stuff, mm -hmm. but. It wasn't the case where you think, oh, a pick just got away from me. It's the kind of thing right. where, hey, pass defense, and, and that's about all I was going to get out of this thing. Right, because he, uh, he actually made a good play himself on the ball. So um, that was a better play by the receiver because if he wouldn't have did that, I was out of there. Yeah, you were taken to the house, weren't you? Six. All right. Pick six. <laughs> Three games without allowing a completion. Come on, William. All right, we got to take a break. When we come back, it's time to play Earn Your Autograph, starring Nicholas and Elizabeth in a Packers Live First Twins on Earn Your Autograph. Catch Packers Live with your team. For free group tickets, call or email the Packers and be part of the show live at Lambeau Field. We are back. Time to play Earn Your Autograph, and we have history on Packers Live. A set of twins playing Earn Your Autograph. Wow. And you must be Nicholas. Yep. And you must be Elizabeth. Yep. <laughs> How is it being twins? Mm, not that fun. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we're wow. going to have some fun right now, because if you can learn 
the football skill Tremont's about to coach you on, you will have earned his autograph. How is that, Elizabeth? Good. Okay. <laughs> An excitable pair, it. aren't they? Okay, <laughs> Tremont, what are we going to learn? Okay, first of all, I'm going to teach you how to carry a football. And then I'll teach you one of my drills that I have to do. The first way they teach us to carry a football is it's called four, four points of pressure. You grab the ball here. You set it in this arm here. You put your two fingers right here. And then you just bring it up here. And that's called the four points of pressure. You got to point here, point here, point in here, and press it to your chest. So they call it four points of pressure. That's the way you stop fumbling the ball. All right. Okay. We don't so, want any fumbles here we on don't need Packers fumbles. Live. Can't stay on the field with fumbles. So, okay, this is what we're going to do now. You're going to be the receiver. Yes, you got you by a couple inches. So, um, you're going to be. <laughs> and you're going to be the DB. You're going to be the cornerback. So, you play my position. So, you, you got to try to release. <laughs> release. And I'm going to show him how to stop you from releasing. Nicholas, you can't play football with your hands in your pocket. Yeah, you got to take your hands out your pocket, buddy. <laughs> Let me set the ball here for a second. Okay. So what you do is Emily is going to take a step forward. You're going to be in press coverage. Come over here. You got to watch me. She's going to take a step. Emily, when you take a step, I'll take a step. Take a step, Emily. And I'll take a step. And you put your hand right here on her. You got to put the opposite hand on you. This hand here. <laughs> Now I take this one off. You gotta put, put this one. <laughs> you gotta put this one on. So when she goes to run, you gotta knock her off her route, and then you gotta run with her. Okay. Can you do that? All right. Why don't you step apart for a minute, and I'm there gonna go. say hike, and you guys do that. Okay. You gotta get in the stance like this. All right. Get up okay. tight on her. Okay. Get up closer. Elizabeth and Nicholas, ready? Hike. <laughs> That's a hey. press coverage. <laughs> hey, Tremont, was that press coverage or what? That was press coverage. Did they right earn now. your autograph? They earned it. Okay, hey, where's the ball? There it is, the Here ball over there. Hey, there while there, go. while the twins, Nicholas and Elizabeth, are getting Tremont's autograph, we've got to take go. a break. When we come back, it is time for go. a chalk talk. Say hello, Claire. <laughs> Ooh, he's, he's Thank you, third and short. We are back. Did you know the Packers rushed the ball for 182 yards against the Vikings? And Minnesota's pretty good at run defense. Let's have at it. Now, the whole thing with the Packers running game is to secure the line of scrimmage with two and then bounce off to the second level or the linebacker level. And so the Packers two right there are T.J. Lang and Don Barclay. And the line of scrimmage for the Vikings in this case is a fellow named Sharif Floyd, a first-rounder. Now, folks, watch these guys secure the line of scrimmage. My word! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? They didn't secure it. They destroyed it. We have to see it again. Roll it back. Look at this thing. I mean, you talk about search and destroy. This guy is totally wiped out. Now, now, it gets better. Because Evan Dietrich Smith and Josh Sitton create an edge over here. And Andrew Corliss creates an edge over there. And Barclay, he's not satisfied. Reckon Sharif Floyd's night. He's going to go off on that second level. And you know what ends up happening? It's high diddle diddle Eddie Lacy up the middle for 11 big yards. And that's why I say the Packers punch the Vikings right in the mouth, Frankie. Chalk talk, chalk talk, chalk talk. Woo! All right. <laughs> Tremont. <laughs> Don't let him distract you. He's no, like that. No. Just had a baby. Uh, Tremont. <laughs> Different role for you this year in mm -hmm. the sense you're playing a lot more in the slot and doing a lot more blitzing. And it's been productive. A couple sacks already. 
are you uh, kind of in love with that new position in blitzing? <laughs> I think when you're outside on the island for a long time, you know, for the, to get inside and, and do something different and impact the game in a different way, I think, you know, it's a relief. I, I guess you can say it's a relief. So um, I enjoy it. Most definitely enjoy it. Um, like to get after the quarterback. Anyone who don't, they'll be lying to you. Well, Tremon, something I think the league has got to take a look at rule-wise now is that when you do blitz, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you shouldn't be subjected to mismatches. It's just not fair. And like going back to the Cleveland <laughs> game where he did score a sack, they got this big gorilla out there. He's a Wisconsinite <laughs> named Joe Thomas. Right. And he's like all pro. And okay, you're a buck 90. He's about 290. I mean, that's not <laughs> fair, is it? <laughs> They got to change that, huh? Not at all, but I guarantee you next time I go, I got to move for him. <laughs> I got to move. I've been practicing for him. I got something for him. <laughs> now, you were busy yesterday, but that fellow named Calvin Johnson over in Detroit had a monster day. Ooh. 14 catches, 329 yards. Now, Tremont in the past has usually drawn Calvin Johnson mm -hmm. as their toughest customer. And you've had real good success against them, much better than the Dallas Cowboys did. What's the secret to that success? I don't think Calvin's watching tonight. <laughs> he's out celebrating. Um, just, just be fundamentally sound. Um, he's a big guy. He's going to make some plays. You've got to understand that and not get frustrated when it happens. But just, just stay fundamentally sound. Um, my guys believe in me back there. I believe in them up front. And at the end of the day, you know, for the face of a guy like that, you have to be in tune with yourself. You have to be up for the challenge. Um, that, was, that was a big night, man. That's, that's historical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up, we'll have questions for Taman from our lively audience here in the Legends Club high atop the beautiful Lambeau Field Atrium. Stay with us, please. You're watching Packers Live in case you forgot. Welcome back. We were temporarily distracted. Tremont Williams, our very special. We have some questions for him. Your name? Linda. And Linda, what's your question? Tremont, when your team is way ahead in the score, why is it always the defense goes to prevent, prevent defense? Uh, you get two touchdowns. I mean, I mean, I. I <laughs> Fault, I mean, right? <laughs> I, I'll put it like this. You, you put in the hard work early in the game. You take chances early in the game to get up to that big lead. And then, you know, you kind of don't want to be too aggressive at times because, you know, like, like you said, you'll give up more yardage, but you're going to kill the clock a little bit more too. Just come out with the win. At the end of the day, you just want to get the win. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tremont. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. An exciting new feature here on Packers Live. It's called Frank's Favorite Question. Frank, I think I know what the question is, and what does a lucky questioner, Linda, receive? A Green Bay Packers soft toothbrush, which I use on my pearly whites. <laughs> and, and how about the consolation prize for those who did not get on? This cardboard coaster from our previous show, which we're trying to get rid of. <laughs> All right, an exciting new feature. May last one week. Coming up, some final thoughts. Stay with us, please. You're watching Packers Live. Turn it up. We are back. Thank you, third and short. Shaman, I've been watching this stuff a long time, and I think your guys' team has the makings of something special. Uh, do, you, do you agree to some extent at least? And if so, what's the mystical it going on with your football team, do you think? I think so. Um, I feel that we got a chemistry about our team. Um, we're really close. I don't think we've been this close since 2010. Obviously, when you have a lot of adversity going throughout a season, you have to depend on different guys. And for guys to come in, you may get some off the streets. You may get some who's been in the league. Um, but at the same time, um, those guys make your team better. You build more chemistry. You learn to trust one another. So I think we got that with our team right now. 
Tremont, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Until next time, check out.